Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. Oh my god, what a picturesque location this is. That's two in a row. Twice now we've seen something uh, extremely, extremely beautiful. And uh, today it's uh, it's pretty tough to figure out where uh, we could be. I, I don't really know at all where uh, this location is going to be. It's really, really nice. Look at this. I think I'm going to have to go with Italy on this one. I don't really know. Uh, but that's going to be that's gonna be my guess. My guess is going to be Italy. Where in Italy? Let's go um, and to where we don't usually go. Over here, for whatever reason. And make the guess. And the answer was Spain. Okay, Spain. All right. It was uh, right over here on this big uh, lake system. Yeah, that looks about right. Castillo de Granadilla. All right, cool. Uh, Granadilla uh, Castle. Wow, that was uh, really, really nice. 2015 points. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that a coincidence? No? Okay, only me. All right, well, hopefully some of you guys were able to figure that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. Oh my god, what's happened here? It seems like uh, the whole forest has been completely knocked down. Maybe uh, this is the site of the Tunguska event. Big giant uh, comet exploding um, like a few kilometers above the surface of the earth, leveling all the trees. I mean, probably not, but hey, I mean, one of you might make your guesses there, I guess, since this is the daily challenge. Meet the stuff to you guys. Tell me where in the world do you think we are. Put your guesses down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world you think this is. If you're the person that guesses closest, I announce you as the winner in tomorrow's video's comment section. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won, so if you're interested in knowing you're today's top geo-guesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? Well, Oakley Dokley, here we are in the main section of today's video. And today, we got a very fun viewer challenge, one uh, brought to us by Tokyo Sanchez. So thank you so much for this challenge. This is actually a really cool theme. This is China th uh, China Town. Chinatown themed. That uh, That's really interesting. You know, every time we're in the city and I see a Chinese food restaurant, for whatever reason, I always point it out. I mean, not in real life, uh, because that'd be really weird. But I always point it out in GeoGuessr for whatever reason. So maybe that's uh, picking up on, on that. And uh, we're going to be in Chinatown's across the world, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. Now, the spirit of this is not to leave the Chinatown, so we gotta, you know, we gotta stay inside it, try not to leave, you know, if we leave it by accident, it's not the end of the world. But the idea is we have to stay in there and make the guess while we're still in Chinatown, then if we really want to, we can uh, leave, if we see something cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah, all right, let's give uh, this one a shot. If you want to create your own custom challenge with a theme like this one, or with no theme, well, it's, uh, whatever, it's up to you. You can look down at the description below, find a step by step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find the link to this challenge so you can challenge your friends. If you are a fan of Chinatown, then there you go. Boom, let's do it. Okay, awesome. Well, we're in Canada, so we can tell that. We're on a street called Main Street. I would just assume right off the bat we're in Toronto, but I have no way of really knowing that. This from what I can tell, actually, no, this is definitely not uh, the Ottawa uh, one for a few reasons. I mean, first of all, there's no CIBC building that looks quite like this in the Chinatown area. There is a building that looks uh, a little bit like this, but it, it's not anywhere near the Chinatown. Um, and, you know, this is not how the bus would look, but uh, it seems to say Vancouver. So I'm guessing we are most likely in Surrey. Yeah, okay, Surrey seems like, uh, Surrey? Really think that Surrey is, well, I mean, Sur I'm not really sure. Vancouver? Richmond? Oh, it's hard to tell. All right, we're going to figure it out, but we're in Vancouver, so at least we know that much. Uh, Chinatown seems to extend this way, and does it seem to extend that way? A little bit, but a little bit less, so let's go, let's go down this way. We are in Vancouver, Chinatown. Probably one of the best Chinatowns in Canada. Or, it probably just the best. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I mean, Toronto's got to be alright, but, you know, this one seems to make sense that it'd be even better. Uh, we got Vietnamese, we got everything, Canada Post. I mean, it looks still a lot like, uh, it still looks a lot like, um, like, uh, like Canada. Um, what we got is, we got something that's some Udoin Drive and something Street. 
All right, so we've got that. I mean, street names are going to be important. Okay, so we're in Keller and Main. Keller and Main. So Main is not going to be hard to find, uh, except for over here in Surrey, it seems like everything is just named after numbers. What about in Richmond? Uh, in Richmond, uh, West, uh, is there a Main? North One Road? Come on now, you can be a little bit more creative than that. All right, what about in Vancouver itself? Is there a Main? I mean, there probably is 4th Broadway, 12th, oh, come on now, you can do a little bit better than this, McGill, what about this one, Naomi, okay, well, this street is going, it's a north-south street, all right, that's important, I should, uh, should probably notice that a little bit earlier, Main Street, all right, so we get a Main Street, and it extends like this, so we're at Main, and something called Keller, now, how far do I think we're going to be from downtown? I think we're going to be actually pretty far from downtown. Now, the real question is, other than Keller Street that we got here, we also maybe have numbers. Okay, we don't have numbers. But does Maine extend? No, it doesn't. Okay. So we're in Vancouver, but other than all of these numbers, these numbers streets, do we have any streets that aren't numbers? I mean, it'd be really handy if we did. What about, oh, here's Keller Street, oh, okay, or Kiefer, did that say Kiefer, or Keffer? I don't really know, maybe it did. did, do I not know how to read, I mean, that's a distinct possibility, but we got Hastings, okay, so we know where we are, um, we're over here, I guess I just don't know how to read, that's fine, you know, you don't really need to, yeah, okay, you don't need to know how to read, that's fine, uh, we started off, if I return to start location, uh, I can see that we're over here, and uh, we are looking at south, so we are here on E. Georgia Street, right there. Uh, is there no going that way? There is going that way. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, well, I guess if in that case, if I go this way, we can see that. If I go this way, I can see Georgia Street. See? Now, the thing about Georgia Street is it goes all the way across. Well, I guess that was just Pender Street then. All right, sure. Pender Street. Make the guess. And I double-clicked, but you can see, you know, 64, 79. It's the maximum number of points. I got it right. Okay. Very cool. Now, immediately, I don't really know. It looks like American Flags. Blossom Bakery. Okay, this looks... This is a nice Chinatown. All right. You know, I was like in the Vancouver one, but you know what? This one, this one seems Double Dragon Massage. Ooh, Lucky Dragon Gift Shop. I like this one a little bit better. I think this is, oh, look at this. Come on now. Okay, this is a good Chinatown. I mean, sure, see so here people all worked up about the one in Vancouver. You know what? From what I've seen, it, it was all right. But this, on the other hand, now this is, this is a place to be. Where are we? Are we in... Uh, I mean, wow, there are... Okay, there's like... There's some flags of Taiwan flying around. There's some Chinese flags everywhere. There's American flags, which I guess are the ones you should probably pay attention to. Washington Street. That, I mean, that could, that could be a lot of places. Washington Cafe. 415. It's a lot like the Toronto area code. All right, well... San Francisco. Yep. San Francisco, this is going to be, oh, is that, that's San Francisco, right? Not LA? Is that LA or San Francisco? Shit, I'm really bad at this. I keep forgetting. San Francisco or LA? Where's, this is a really famous building, this one right here. I keep forgetting. So I'm going to check both, but first I'm going to check San Francisco because I think that's right. I might be wrong. I really hope I'm not. Okay, this street is going east-west, which is good. Good. Chinatown. Oh, it says it right there. That's good. Now, where... Oh, my God. I mean, really? You expect me to find anything inside here? Washington Street. Okay, cool. So, we are... There's... Here's Washington Street. East-West. Seems to go up pretty high, so I don't think... I think we're going to be maybe down over here or something. Financial District, really? Um, all right, what's the name of, what's the name of this street right over here? 
did I did I see a name? I don't really think I did. Okay, we're still in Chinatown. I can see. Yeah. All right, go. So, what have we got here? We've got uh, we got street names right in Washington, and what Washington? Does the other street have a name? I'd love it if it did. And Grant. Okay. So Washington and. Montgomery and that and Grant all right so we were on Waverly Street right there I guess the answer was two points off the maximum we were on Waverly Street great I think I, I remembered all right San Francisco okay obviously it's gonna have a better Chinatown than Vancouver you know what can you do it's San Francisco San Francisco it's a beautiful place it's got everything everyone would ever want uh, 6477 although probably ridiculously expensive now we're in England in London specifically and not bad not bad not bad nicely decorated yeah all right uh, we're, we're, we're good so far it's, it looks looks pretty nice looks pretty nice pedestrian zone City of Westminster. Oh, okay. Um, City of Westminster. 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 I can keep saying it, but I don't think it's really going to start helping me. Um, that, I don't, you know, that, that should, that should tell me something. But sadly, all it does is it just helps me get more confused as to where we are. Uh, okay, I, we're not going to be up here, but, I mean, like, w what does it mean by City of Westminster? Is that really a, I mean, it probably is, isn't it? It's probably a city. But then why haven't I seen it, right? If it is really a city, Westminster. Come on. I think by Westminster, they mean London, and they mean over here. You know, cities are such a complicated thing. People love to just divide cities into multiple places, and, you know, you don't really, there ain't nobody needs that. There's a casino here. Wow, really? Okay. China Buffet. Wow, okay. Newport Place. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, so what do we got over here? We got a lot of places. Cardinal Place. So we're in, we're in the Westminster area. But... Is there... Oh, hold on. There's a bunch of A's. I, I've seen A's everywhere. All right. What does this say? W1. Oh, that doesn't say... That's a W. That doesn't... Piccadilly Circuit. Well, that... Really? Oh, okay. I didn't really know I was there. Huh. Well, there's Hyde Park. You know, City of London is very complicated. I don't really... I always forget where things are. Um, okay, so... Do I really think we're around? I mean, we probably are. But... Where around here are we? You know, I, 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 didn't, I never went to the Chinatown in London. I don't want to go this way because that feels like cheating. Gerard Place, W1, City of Westminster. I mean, you can keep saying it. You know, I feel like we're actually in the City of London, though. Because isn't, isn't this within the City of London? I mean, that just feels a little bit... Okay. Okay, now I think we're leaving Chinatown over here. Uh, award-winning bar, Newport Place, Newport Place. I mean, we're in London, I feel like, but I don't really know. I don't really know where else. All right, we're still good. I can go to this street. Okay, I can't really go there. That's, that's too much. That's, that's cheating. Something square. All right, where does, so, is there a square? Do we have a square around here? I mean, seriously, the people who design these streets, you can clearly tell London, a very medieval city. I'm really just talking about my ass there, but the, the, the thing about it is that, like, look at these streets, man. That's craziness. I mean, I guess I'm used to, um, I'm used to sort of North American style grid based cities, not this kind of strange paths. I mean, should I really go, go looking into it? I don't really want to look at roads. We know we're there. I mean, we're right here. Let's make the guess, and the answer was, I mean, kind of, but we were actually not in the area where it says Westminster. We were in Soho, all right, right over here, right there. All right, that makes sense. Uh, oh, Leicester Square. Pick it, oh, okay, yeah, I've been around here before. Yeah, I've been right here, actually. Saw a movie at this movie theater, if I remember correctly. It was really bad. 
I think in yesterday's episode I mentioned seeing a really bad movie in Summerside PEI. I remember that movie now. It was 30 minutes or less. It was really bad. The bad movie I saw at this movie theater right here was Over the Hedge, I believe. There you go. I've seen bad movies in strange places, and right here was uh, was one of them. Um, I believe there was a Pirates of the Caribbean, maybe two or maybe three. I don't remember one of them. It's been a long time since those movies came out. I, I'd have to say I don't remember which one. Uh, there was a premiere of one of them happening at this movie theater uh, right over here uh, when when I went to uh, this movie theater right here. And I remember getting ice cream right over here. You see, I got a memory for, for places that I've been. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm weird like that. 6337. Boom. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Call now. Okay, it's in English again, so that's good. This is a good Chinatown. I'm liking it. This is a good Chinatown. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, isn't there? There's something about this this Chinatown, though. It's interesting. Is the only language that I'm seeing... No, okay, that doesn't matter. That's right. Uh, okay, real estate, fire hydrant. All right. England. Oh, really? Well, huh. there's something about this place. I can't help but feel we're actually, like, in Hong Kong. I don't know why. Maybe we're not. But looking at this place, I can't help but feel that that's actually where we are. I mean, maybe, no, maybe we're in Japan. Yeah, okay, Japan... Look at that. Coffee Boss. I mean, look at this vending machine right here. I mean, that's really authentic. Forever Challenge. You know, if we're really in it, I mean, I was going to say a little bit earlier, I feel like we're seeing a lot of Japanese, which we may or may not be seeing. It's very overwhelming uh, seeing languages that I can't read. But Forever Challenge, I mean, you know, are you really going to see that in an advertisement? in uh in an english country that well predominantly english country forever challenge what does that even mean that's a slogan i would think up of there are better people doing uh that kind of that kind of work for 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 pepsi i'm sure i hope i really hope because if i can if i can come up with a better slogan and i and i again i could probably come up with something oh wow look at this place this looks like fun wow this store's got everything wow that's what I love. Like, look at these. Look at these menus. There's so many options. Interesting. I wonder if they're all good. I doubt they are. I, I, you know, you look at a menu this big and you think, like, how many people are really working here? How much? I mean, do all of this? Do all of these menu items use like the same ingredients? Because you feel like with so many things to make, most of them have got to be bad. I mean, you got to have specialties, right? But I mean, there you go. You got somebody enjoying ice cream here. I want to enjoy ice cream. Look at that. They got all sorts of delicious flavors, ranging from green tea to, um, you know, red bean. I don't know, to be honest, but there you go. I'm just naming flavors of the Japanese Kit Kat bars, to be honest. Is red bean one of them? I feel like it is. I, I hope it is. Uh, but okay, let's keep going. Do, wow, this place, I mean, I'm going to guess then that we're in... That we're in, in food entertainment, that we're in Tokyo? I mean, Hong Kong wasn't a bad guess, but look at this. This is Japanese right here. I remember that much. So, we've got Japanese, although, you know, it's, you know, people say Chinatown. It's usually more than just Chinatown, at least, you know. I don't know, maybe, maybe when you're in Japan, it, it's, it really is a Chinatown. Maybe, you know, actually, you know, probably really is just a Chinatown. Uh, whereas in North America, it's really more of an Asia town. Uh, but, uh, but here, I mean, this is a good one. This one looks real good. So, okay, I can't leave this. I'm probably not going to figure out where we are. So I've just got to make a guess. Are we going to be in Tokyo? That's the real question. Or are we going to be somewhere else? Tokyo or somewhere else? Well, let me look at this truck and uh, that's going to be it. 
This truck is going to tell me where we are. All right. Oh, you know, that's not nice. Tokyo or somewhere else? I can't really tell from such a small area because I think this is one end and the other end was over there. So I can't really leave. So I'm going to make the guess that we are not in Tokyo. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say we're in Osaka. I just hope that I'm not making a bad guess here. Osaka, I don't know where to guess, so I'll just guess right there. Make the guess. Ah, oh, well, you know, Yokohama. All right, Yokohama. That's where we were. I guess not guessing Tokyo was good, but, you know, again, the greater Tokyo City area, it pretty much ranges, like, all of this. It just swallows up everything, so uh, there you go. I'm going to say that I was right in my feeling that we weren't in Tokyo, although this may be still counted Tokyo on certain maps, but I'm, I'm going to say it's not, and that we were somewhere else. I just guessed Osaka, which in my mind is the second biggest city in Japan. Not sure about that, but in my mind it is. Yokohama might be very big, but it depends. It also might count as Tokyo in certain maps. Again, it's, it's, all, it's all very strange the way... Tokyo, I mean, Tokyo is really huge on if, if in if you count it like the metropolitan area, twenty five thirty nine. All right. Yeah, I think I remember something in the theme of the challenge, and I, I forgot when I introduced the challenge uh, whether or not it was true. Uh, so it may it still may or may not be true. This may be a Chinatown, uh, but I read another challenge. I forget which one. It might be this one. That the fourth, that the last location was just a beautiful place, um, and didn't really fit the theme. It was just a beautiful place that you wanted to show. And now, when I started, I forgot whether that was this challenge or it was another one. So I'm gonna go and say that uh, that it probably it, it probably was uh, this one. So um, you know, because this doesn't really look like a Chinatown. I mean, I wouldn't call this a Chinatown, would you? No, I, I don't think I don't think you would. But um, there you go. Wow. I mean, this is really, really nice. This is a resort I can get behind. I would love to go here. I mean, just check this place out. It's it's really fantastic. Wow. All right. Ah, okay. There you go. I got it here. The first four locations are Chinatowns. The last one is just some random place. I thought it looked really cool. Ah, okay. There you go. See? That was stealthy, right, you guys? I couldn't even tell that I was actually looking at my cell phone uh, to try and get to my email, to try and get to the challenge. Well, yeah, you probably could tell because you know, I wasn't paying too much attention to what I was seeing. Now, it's a really cool spot, and you're not wrong. This is spectacular. I mean, what a place, eh? My god. I have no idea where this is, but I'm excited to find out because, let me tell you, I am I'm booking a flight. No, I'm not. But if I had a lot of money, maybe. Oh, hold on. That's probably important right here. What does this say? Parkside r r ride rights. I don't know. I don't know what that says, but that's okay. It's like Jurassic Park. Dip, uh, dip, Dipole's Way. Okay, well, there's some strange names for things, but that doesn't stop us from enjoying this. Although now we're, we're starting to get into some very lush areas. I mean, I want to see... Oh, well, you still get some stunning views, really. This is amazing. What a... Pl oh, I mean, come on. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. All right, that's it. I want to I wanna be here. I mean, look at this. There is a swing above a pool, and you get a view like this, right? That is just fantastic. The only downside is this little wall here, and here reminds you that there's just somebody right on the other side of that wall banging, and there's no walls. So, you know, you're over here. Look at this bed. I mean, come on, it's great. I mean, it is covered in mosquito nets, but, you know, you, you want that's a positive. But, you know, you look at the walls, and you think there's, there's, there's another couple. Right on the other side of this wall. Who knows what they're up to? Look at this swing. Oh, I'm sure they're up to something there. Uh, so where is this place? Wow. Looks like... The, I don't know if this really shows up because the color compression might be weird on YouTube. But, like, there's some, like, weird mark above this volcano. Again, it's not a volcano. It doesn't look like one. But above this mountain, making, me, making it look like a smoky volcano. Where is this? Ah. Okay. 
we're going to go with Thailand. Because uh, in the bottom right corner, it says Thai Mac. So, yeah. Now, Thailand. I'm going to guess no. This is, this that that's somewhere like pretty much uh, uninhabited. We're going to say, we're going to say we're in the fuck it area. Because the fuck it area is apparently a very beautiful touristy area. Well, not touristy, but a very beautiful area. Oh, this is touristy. Yeah. All right, let's make a guess. Wow. Couldn't have been more wrong. Really? I would not have thought that this place was at all in the Caribbean. You know, this this guy kind of place really breathes new light into my hope of the... That's in St. Lucia. Really? Wow. There you go. When I was a lot younger, my mom used to do work in, in St. Lucia. She used to, to fly out relatively often to St. Lucia. And I, don't know, I totally forget what, what she did, but um, she used to go there relatively often, once or twice a year, uh, for work. Now I'm really jealous. My God, what a wonderful place. That's what it looked like. Huh. Jeez Louise, 43 points. Well, I got that one wrong, but you know what? I can't get everything right. Um, although, you know, the other ones oh, were pretty good. 21875. So that would be uh, the Vancouver Chinatown. It's right over there. Uh, then we were in the San Francisco Chinatown. Then we were in the London Chinatown. We were in the uh, Yokohama Chinatown. Then finally, we were in a very beautiful place. It wasn't Thailand, it was St. Lucia. Wow. 2185. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye.